I always usually record these videos on a Wednesday, but right now it is... I don't know if you can see that, Monday the 9th of September. We are getting an early start on this video because episode 30 of the LEGO City, we have been working on this city now for 30 episodes and it has looked a bit different. We've gone for a few different stages. It wasn't always Star Wars related. So I have a poll up in the community for you to vote for your favorite era of the LEGO City, but I have a lot planned for today including reworking the bottom of Coruscant condominium I don't remember the full name Coruscant condo and we are going to be moving that council meeting up a floor that will probably be a job for Wednesday I also need to fill in underworld alley which is a very catchy name actually that is now deemed underworld alley for the rest of this video and also switch up the bottom floor bottom floor will be tomorrow's video the second floor will be on Wednesday so today we are going to be tackling the underworld alley just to the left of that building and it should be a fairly simple and straightforward design we only have these four studs to work with and out of these four studs one of them is being taken up by a panel on the right which hides all of the bricks that are holding up the floor so we can get these stairs just at the front of the temple so we've got three studs wide most of it's going to be tiled but I would like to get a bit of detail in there. And this right here is exactly why you mills play your buildings because this alleyway, there was no way I was gonna be able to squeeze my hand in and get every little detail in there. But I just popped off this whole chunk of building and before we put it on, I just wanna give you a closer look. We got some crates at the back, which are empty. I might sneak a few Melu runs and like the Death Star plans or perhaps they've smuggled some artifacts from the Jedi Temple. A Holocron would be really cool to get into one of those. And then we have a few minifigures I've nicked off the street. A robot fitting with Star Wars from the Lego Movie 2. We also have Wild Style or Lucy in her hooded version which is coming out of the alley. Perhaps tracking everyone that's going in and out of the temple or waiting for someone specific. And then a forgotten theme down the alley, Lego Legends of Chima, which technically isn't entirely forgotten. They have brought it back in Ninjago, but it was cool to get a, another Lego reference as well as a few Lego movie characters down the side. And just to show you on camera, we'll take the bottom of Naboo, plonk that on top. Some of the bricks for Naboo have been doubled at the back and it works the same as any other building. Press it down nice and firm. I'll get my hammer to that a bit later. Not a real hammer. Don't use your real hammer on Lego. I have a TPU headed hammer printed, especially for Lego. And I've covered that in a previous video a while ago. Perhaps I should do another video on it. As you can see, it's down nice and secure. And you can also get some hidden references if you didn't see last week's episode and the hidden reference underneath the Jedi Temple. Definitely check it out because it's a fun one. But that is going to be all for today. And now tomorrow, we'll start work on the bottom floor. So it's now day two of the video. We did the hallway yesterday. What have we got to do today? Well, today, I want to change the council hall. Don't worry, the council hall will hopefully be included on the next floor. But I want to gut it out and I feel like the temple needs to be a bit higher. We definitely need at least another floor to get it looking a little bit more like the Jedi at Temple. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the council members there. Kiedi Mundi, Yoda and Windu who have resided in here for the last week or so and try to turn it into a library, like the holocron chambers that you see in the Jedi Survivor game, as well as the prequels and a load of other comics, like Jocasta Nu takes all of the holocrons, or as many as she can get into another area, and they all look fairly similar. So hopefully I can get this looking a bit like that, and I'll come back when I've made some progress. So I've got a few of the pieces that I think I might need to build some of these Jedi archive walls, which is what the ground floor is meant to be. And hopefully if I can build probably about six to eight of the walls, looking something a bit like this when the camera focuses, you can see I should be able to fit two rows of them in this bottom floor. And hopefully that fits with the roof on. We will have to test this, but it should turn out looking something like this. And as you can see, even the Lego bricks have been cleared away. That was magic. It took a bit longer 
for me than you would have seen but i've just duplicated that jedi holocron almost bookshelf like structure six times just to show you up close what i have done we've got a bunch of one by three plates we've got to top it off and at the bottom a one by one square like gray brick and then two dark bluish gray round one by ones as well to form the pillars on the side there's not much room to work with and i've even detailed some holocrons on the floor level because we do see them quite low in the jedi archive so i think that looks really really cool because we've got the statue on the front i didn't want to use up more space to get a few on the inside but i'm really liking how that's looking and it's the library of the city as well the city does need a library how else are the minifigures going to catch up on the news but i think that is all for today fairly quick updates i'm just spreading it out so we can get the most done tomorrow working on floor two and i cannot wait to see what i end up doing we are now on to day three and this is the big one because we're going to start work on the second floor of the jedi temple now right now it doesn't really look like a jedi temple well i guess you probably can work it out the statue out the front the color scheme on the outside wall which i really do like and the holocrons and just the archives in general i guess they're not really holocrons because you've got the holocron chamber but the city library which is represented by the jedi archives on the ground floor and now we need somewhere for the council members the high council members to have their meeting and as it is the 30th episode of building the lego city which again i still can't believe we've got this far but let's try and push all the way to part 50 which I don't know if we'll hit soon i've got a few things in mind over the next sort of month or two and then i'm going to go on a christmas break in terms of the city and focus on other content especially towards the end of the year with different sets retiring so we'll see if we can hit 50 by the end of the year it'll probably be at the start of next year but like i said today we're going to be building the top floor of the jedi temple and i want it to look like the jedi temple so i want to have four three four corners coming out squared off and the rest to be sloped up a lot of plate work is going to go into this but i don't really know where to start so i'll come back when i have an idea it's only been a few minutes since i stopped recording and we've already run into our first problem and as you can see i've moved these jedi archive shelves back one stud each because when creating this base plate out of four six by six plates want to keep it nice and simple so that it's secure on the floor above because i've actually got a different plan for this front row so we've not got the base plate on the bottom so i want to make sure it's as secure as possible i've gone with round two by twos because they slot in a bit easier we've got one in the middle and i've used this four by four which just fits with the shelves either side giving enough room for them not to collide which is why i've used round plates rather than going with the square four by fours and two by twos and then we've got this one at the front which meets up with this wall and there'll be a further support on top of that but as you can see when i place it down this one by two collides with this middle shelf now i could change them to tolls on top and that would fix it but then we're colliding with this cheese slope as well and i don't want to knock any of these shelves off they're quite flimsy having been held on at the bottom by only one stud or two so i don't want to cause any problems in the future so what i'm doing is moving them back so that the round two by two plates fits in the gap and then we can continue work with the top of the floor we are only half an hour 45 minutes if that into this day and i can already tell it's going to be a long one so we have our second problem i was using the round plates so they don't bump into anything but what i didn't think about is because i'm using round plates on the edge it means this plate is going to be able to twist and as you probably just saw pop off the shelves inside there's nothing stopping it well i'm not quite sure why that shelf didn't pop that shelf did fall down before but it looks like it's just this one being special so to combat that what i'm going to do is change the two by two round plates on both ends the front and back keep the side ones round but change them to two by fours and hopefully that will fix that problem 
that's much better. There's a little bit of wiggle because Lego does have that give into it and if it's not studded down, it will be fairly loose enough for it to fall out. But it is in there nice and secure. No shelves are jumping out anymore and it is a bit dark. So I would like to get some lights in there sometime soon, but let's get the thing built before we start lighting it up and then we can worry about that later. That is definitely not a problem we need to be dealing with today. So now let's get the Jedi Master situated in their brand new office, I guess. And this is going to be a hard task just because I do want some sloping walls. So I'm going to play around with a few different designs and come back when I have the hopefully final version. I realise that I don't take you through a lot of the process behind the city. So I want to capture this moment because here I'm trying to get that angle on the corner of the Jedi Temple and from the back it's not as angled as I'd like it to be but it is pretty good and I'm going to try and get a red stripe probably down this middle stud here on the top. But for the side we've got to match that angle to the angle at the front. Now at the front we're using some 2x3 wedge plates but on the side you can see the 2x3s aren't lining up so instead I've got these 2x2s, they're 4x2s but if you can ignore the right hand side this is the side we are going to be focusing on and if I hold it over the 2x3 you can see well it's lining up almost perfectly now as a mathematician I do have to say this isn't a perfect fit with Lego it's really ever going to be a perfect fit so this is a perfect Lego fit because the numbers aren't going to always line up which is why for model making I like to keep to a 1 to 45 scale for my Star Wars ships because that gives me something to line the numbers up to. But a lot of these are going to create some problems. First off on the right we do have another slope. Well you can fix that by including some 2 by 2s in another colour for instance grey there and to hold the plate together because it is going to be quite fragile I have made this contraption. This is a bunch of slopes and plates together and it's been held on by a bigger wedge plate and then a few corner tiles and it's a solid plate this isn't going to go anywhere. You might wonder why the right side is plain and that is because we've got these Technic plates here with the pinhole in the side which is what's keeping these held on. You can see them in the model we've got one there, we've got one there and we've also got one at the top so I know exactly where the pinholes have to be one there and one just at the top there. Two bricks taller and two bricks back, which means they're actually going to be on the top and the third plate, which isn't preferable. Preferably would have them between plates to add a bit more support. You can always add a slope if they do tend to be a bit weaker, but we're going to have to work with what we've got. And these plates should be able to cover this entire side, leaving one stud at the back. So now I've got to build up the walls and the plan is to have these at right angles coming out not only to support the floor above it but also to get it to look like the Jedi Temple. We're not going to have these coming out of the middle like I had originally hoped and that's actually going to be good to not fill up the interior too much but we're going to have two at the back and then one at the front. So from the front Hopefully you can start to picture it. It should be looking more like the Jedi Temple and less like any other city library. So for the back of the Jedi Temple on the top here, we've only got one wall, which is a bit flimsy, but well, it's not as flimsy as the base plate because there's no studs connecting it. Hopefully we can rig something up to connect the two when we work on the next floor. But we've got two different arrangements for Technic holes. The first one I did on the right here is a bit more complicated uses a lot of plates to balance the two but let's get these walls on I made oh, almost another hour ago this is taking quite longer than I expected but I'm having so much fun trying to piece these together and finding different ways to build the Jedi Temple so let's take a look at what it looks like with both of these walls in place there we are there are definitely two very different angles that the roofs are at but I like the left one because it goes right down to the top of the studs whereas on the right we do need an extra tile just to flatten it off and though I do have an abundance of these 1x6 dark tan tiles thanks to a Yavin mock I did last year it doesn't match up as well to the front here you can see even at this angle that it's not steep enough it's a bit too less steep and creates this big gap that's almost the width of my finger whereas on the right hand side you can see it lines up 
almost perfectly. Again, we're gonna say it's perfect for Lego, but this front is one, two, three, four, five, six bricks and a plate. So seven plates, to seven bricks tall will line up to there. And there's just, maybe not a plate, there's probably half a plate gap in the front here. So perhaps we can work on building some frame to secure it all together. But I really like the fact that this front is quite easily removable and I can just pop it off and reveal the entire interior. Speaking of which, we do have to get Yoda and the other council members chairs in there and that might be a bit of a squeeze. And after a few hours, I think it's been about two hours since my last recording, we finally have more or less the top of the Jedi Temple complete. And this raises a few questions for what we are going to do next because I am planning on getting another two stories on top of this or at least one and some sort of rooftop. I'm aiming for two but how am I going to go with this? Well the name of this tower is Coruscant Condo and Lego released some sort of condo in the Lego Creator or Lego City line not too long ago and it looked like it had parts of different buildings stacked on top of each other so I'm aiming to get that look from this tower as well which really does help because we can have some really thin, wide apartment coming over the top, almost like you're looking over the skyline and you've got a few taller buildings behind the Jedi Temple. But that is going to be next week's problem. Let's show you what I've done with this. You can see the front does come off to reveal Kiadi Mundi, Mace Windu and Yoda inside. There's just enough room to get the three masters. I did want to have a bigger floor space and add a pattern to the floor, but because of the bricks, needed and the spare studs to actually get this to clip down on the plate which I'm happy to say I can put pressure on even though there's nothing holding it underneath is strong enough to be clipping this on and off at least I haven't had any problems so far side on there is a little little gap it's not quite a stud especially towards the top it's not quite a plate width Definitely not a stud, but it's not quite a plate width between there. So I won't really be able to fill that gap. And I think that's just created by me meddling around with this front. I've slightly changed the angle of this, but it's not a two by three wedge. I might swap the pattern a bit, maybe add another red stripe to the right just to get it to work. But I'm very happy with how the Jedi Temple has turned out. And it's looking a lot more like the Jedi Temple, even though it is a bit tall and it looks like it's just been vertically stretched. So perhaps I can flatten this when I'm editing the video and it will look a bit better. But I really like how it looks. It reminds me of the one and or ship that we got from Lego. And I'm excited to start the next bit. I might add some antennas as well, but this is gonna look really cool in my Lego city. And I think I am going to wrap up the video there. I have a bunch of bricks that I now have to sort as I do every single week but i'm really enjoying how this looks in the city we don't even know how this looks in the city let's go over put it on our shelf and then we'll wrap up the video sometimes when i'm building on a module or a chunk of the city like this i forget that there is more to the city but let's place it i realize i perhaps shouldn't have picked this up while we still have the other roof so i'm going to put that on the shelf underneath move this out of the way and we can actually get it into our city rather than me just ending it there and you having to wait a week to see perhaps trying to move this one-handed wasn't a good idea let me fix that and then we'll take a look at it in the city so in trying to rush to get this into the city because I only have a few more minutes to record this I have dropped some of these wedge plates which are very vital to some of the mocks I make down the back of this unit and I don't want to pull this out and try and get them so I've replaced the parts that I can you can see it's looking a lot better than it was a second ago. I don't know how well you would have seen it in the dark unlit shelf below, but this should pop just on like so. And there we have it, finally a part of the city. I can't believe I almost forgot to show it off in the city. I really like how it looks. And remember, this is the library of the Lego City. Although all of these are Star Wars themed, we have the Tatooine Tower, which has the pub at the bottom with a few houses for residents. And I guess there is a little shop at the top. Don't really know how people are meant to get there, but they can just force jump their way onto the third floor and then go up or down from there. We also have now the library, which is the Jedi Archives at the bottom, which we made in this video. And I'm happy that 
I built this over three days. I would not have been able to build it all today. And then we also have the workshop, the little repair shop at the bottom of the Naboo neighborhood tower. And it's definitely coming along. I'm liking the look of these varied shapes. I think I said it a lot last week with Naboo. It's so much nicer than the squared off buildings and makes it feel like there is so much more room than bringing that back wall forward. What's that? 16 studs, I think it is, the depth of these buildings. So I really like that. And I've got to carry that across to the apartments on the side of this as well. We've only got these three studs. Low fire girls apartment is four studs with a slope to roof, but we've only got three studs to play with. So we're going to have to try and vary that. Perhaps what we can do is have a backdrop for it as well. Like in Lo Fi Girls apartment, you can just see that it is a six by three, six by four window gap. And you can see the white wall. Perhaps I can print off a little display to fill out the rest of the apartment and make it look a bit deeper than the shelves allow. But let me know what you think of the brand new Jedi Temple. And also if you have any ideas to improve the city, be it this temple, be it any of the other modulars, let me know down in the comments. I love hearing your suggestions and much like the micro N1s in that workshop, it might even make it into next week's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 30 parts is crazy. Here's to the next 30 and may the bricks be with you always.